Welcome back, everybody. I can't figure it out, so you get a buy for now. You fucker. We're moving on to the mission here. So this is. Oh man, we actually moved pretty fucking far there, man. Alright, so we are moving along here. Probably will be. Oh, but I also just whoop your ass. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell is that? What the? Get off from there, man. That was, <laughs> that was awesome. I do have to admit, that was pretty fucking sweet. Come on, Lacey Towers, huh? Okay. You should go this way. Alright. Who's this, huh? This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. What the hell? I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose. Roman Sionis's girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. Okay. What's the that? Fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. Yeah. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ooh. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The 
shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. Yeah. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. Yep. <laughs> These fingerprints are a match for the penguin. They're on top of the surf in the fire. Yeah. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. These prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? Well, what's this? These white streaks are shoe polish. Yeah. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location yep. from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA doesn't belong to the victims. Whose is it? Yes, whose is it? The fight broke out when someone started the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. <laughs> I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Okay. All right. A suit jacket. A white suit or sport jacket. Hmm. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. Oh, man. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests Ooh. it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Man, this is actually pretty neat. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. You gotta be kidding me. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. And the answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. Yeah. I need to match the DNA sample against the records of the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Okay. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist yeah. on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. All right. Oh, God. Oh, man, that's a nice Christmas tree. You think I'm not tough enough? Good night. Booy shaka laka. Okay, let's work on the uh, weapons here. Double battering. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I'll do that first. Unlock some more shit. Because, you know, more shit is more fun to unlock. To the bat cave. Come in, 
Yes, return to the back cave. Okay. <laughs> Returning to a back cave. All right. Alfred, I am home. I'm home, Alfred. What you make me? <laughs> Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Can I, like... I can change my bat suit here, can't I? Bat suit chamber! Holy shit! Second Batman <laughs> That one's just creepy. Oh my god. That one is just hilarious. I want to see what that one is. Can't I wear it? I want to wear it. Thank you. I hope... I hope I get to wear it. I hope I get to wear it. Where was I going now? Network relay. I hope I get to wear that suit. That is going to make my day. <laughs> That really will make my... <laughs> because that, it's just hilarious. I don't think I'm going to, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to see that suit in action. Well, folks, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.